Hey everyone, it's Connor back from this old farm. And today we got just a farm update video for you. Um, yesterday, yesterday we spent just about all day set, all day yesterday over at an auction. There's an auction over in Sandstone for the, the charity benefit for the Harvest Christian School. So we spent pretty much all day over there. Um, we'll show you, once we're done showing you the first thing here, we'll uh, show you what we gathered, accumulated, whatever you want to put it, however you want to put it, um, there. But today, we spent all day today working on that. Look at that. The pole garden is becoming something. So we spent, after the action was done, we took and cleaned out over here some more and made it so that we can move the cattle panels that were up against these poles and put them there where they are now. Give us a buffer zone and then there's a buffer zone on the back side too. You can see the cattle panels going down that way. Um, so yeah, this today, we'll zoom out a little bit. The quality kind of drops down a little bit with the darkness, but uh, we went through and put, started putting up uh, sidewall purlings and then started on the header board. We were gonna finish, we were gonna get the header board all the way around and then we ran that out of fuel and it's being ornery now and doesn't wanna run again. So, well, it's running, but it you try to move it and it spitters and sputters out. So, the is over here doing uh, realignment hold. Can, let's go back to this. There, you can see the chain holding there together. So, but you can, you can see we got our buffer zone down here too set up. We'll switch boot. Oh, did I do that? There you go. You can. There's the buffer zone. So we got a little bit of working room. Rick's gonna maybe go through and put. There's some tin over there in the uh, grab or yeah gravity wagon. I guess we'll call it uh, the dump wagon. Uh, he's going to maybe work on that this week, putting that up. Now, eventually here, we're going to, you can see that we've got that one spot over there boarded up. There's some rough sawn stuff in this, this wood bundle, bundles of wood that Rick got that we're going to use for putting up a wall. So there's going to be a wall there, gap, two walls, gap, wall. There's going to be a lean-to on that far side, on the north side of the building, that is going to be for housing pigs in. The lean, there'll be whatever that, is, one, two, three, four stalls in the lean-to, and then it'll be able to go out, out and pasture, and probably it's going to probably cut straight across, I'm going to assume, over to the swamp, and then try and go all the way down. Um because that's the that post there is the corner for the cattle pasture so that goes straight that way straight off to the left of the screen so eventually here once we're done with the main cattle barn kind of of course we won't uh wall off that side but once we're done with the main cattle barn then we'll put the lean to on that that north side of the building and um be able to get some pigs in there the one current cattle or pig shed shack is going to get demolished and that pig eventually is going to butcher so we're getting is it nine or something like that more pigs i guess um there's supposed to be some fancy dancy breed something like kind of as rick put it it's the wagyu of pork so that should be interesting. They're long-haired. I don't remember the breed name. They're long-haired pig that likes to be pastured and all that jolly good stuff. So we're going to come up here and show you the, I guess we'll show you the auction stuff because that's on the way to the other thing I want to talk about. So that was all day. Would have been nice to have gotten the hitters finished, but you know, you can't argue with equipment, I guess. So over here this is the trailer with the auction stuff uh, most of it's Rick's there's only two items that are mine we got a nice single gang disc 
nice big heavy disc so that'll be nice for pulling behind an m and all that just kind of to beat the crap out of it there's a couple these are my buys a couple of wheel weights for farm all a a b and cub they fit on cub too although technically they're the a's are lighter weight i think than what the cub had um good price on them we picked them up rick got the play station whatever you want to call it the swing set for the kid and then a couple of big party tents so that was the auction buys kind of spent too much time there but that's the way it goes sometimes they were kind of putsy auctioneers if i'm honest so whatever um pole barn that's where our next topic is the pit of darkness here i might have to turn stop recording here for a minute and turn on the flash um gotta turn on light for one thing Woo! pole barn we spent all night last night in here uh pretty much from six o'clock till midnight i think it might have been later than that it might have been like seven o'clock um let's turn you guys off and get a flash on here well that didn't help a whole lot so last night i farted around in here for quite a while and got quite a bit of stuff moved we got some insulation packed over there we started that pile uh last weekend and then added to it this week um some tires i believe these are for the dump truck if i'm not mistaken uh move those over here from in that region i took the the redneck tool cart which is up over there somewhere uh that's that one that rick built he put regular big implement tires on and all that um he's got build stuff on his channel so if you want to check that out and haven't seen it go to his channel it's like redneck shop cart or something like that i can't remember exactly um that's that build so we took that that was originally over here i think and then i had it there and then we just got it the heck out of here because it needs to go so did some general cleaning and um general cleaning and condensing and the big noticeable difference is right here we took out there was a workbench it was like an old countertop we got that out of here cut up and it's been burned already and we took out the cabinets that were there there was a row of cabinets and that's somewhere in that bay and then in that bay got them taken out of here opened up condensed a little bit over there again so now we're kind of we kind of got to just work this way there's this big conglomeration of stuff and then this little bit of stuff uh, i know there's like the bolt motors and stuff that's going to somebody um there's some more junk and miscellaneous garbage that's got to get cleaned up but what i'd like to is do is get some tractors parked in here this winter that's kind of my goal with this right now chip away at it a little bit every weekend and get it so that we can get some tractors parked in here for over winter because it would be nice to get them out of the snow and not you know not be outdoors anymore so that would be pretty mint i'm gonna close the lid on the garbage dumpster so yeah come on that's been kind of the adventures of this weekend there's the redneck cart a little bit more better but uh yeah like i say go check out rick's channel for that so that's kind of all we got done this weekend like i said that auction ate up most of our time yesterday so not much happened there but we spent quite a bit of time in the pole barn got a lot of progress done which is mint nice nice to have done so We'll keep chipping away at that eventually here at some point in time that that small overhead door there we're gonna have to get in that area we're gonna get the air bolt pulled out and put a trailer underneath of it and that's gonna go way in that back corner where those richies and that where we showed you that condensed area kind of in the back 
uh, like I say, where the Richies are, and there's some house siding and that kind of crap. Um, that's where that's going to go, and then eventually the Super MTA diesel is going to go where the airboat is so that we can work on splitting it and figure out what the problem with the torque amplifier is. For those of you that want an apartment update, we'll come up here. Um, really, no update. Nothing's happened, nothing's changed. Richie parts. It's still the same as it is, and I don't know when we'll come back to it, to be perfectly honest with you. That made it all the way in here. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I don't know when we'll get back to it here. Um, I'm kind of, if I'm perfectly, totally honest with you guys, um, I'm kind of torn on finishing it. I know Rick would like me to finish it, and if he's watching this video, which maybe he is, maybe he isn't, I don't know what he watches anymore. Um, there's just some change in life decisions, I guess we'll put it, um, That's about all I, you know, feel comfortable with saying, I guess. Um, it is what it is. I'm kind of, I'm just torn on, on the project right now, I guess, whether it's going to continue or not. Um, so, yeah, for those of you that want an apartment update, that's your update. It's still in the same condition it's been all summer. And it's maybe not going to progress any further. I don't really know yet what we're going to do. So, yeah. If it ends up not going any further, it was kind of a, you know, waste of money, I guess. Um, for me, benefits Rick, but it is what it is. So, that's just kind of... Where we're at you can give your feedback too um man you guys are bright i can't see where i'm going so yeah i don't you know i know we've put a lot of time and effort into it and that's just kind of where we're at it's just yeah that's all I got to say on that. So, anywho, that's about it. Rick's going to put more, more of the workbench into the dumpster. That's what that stuff is. There's those two cabinets that we yanked out. So, yeah. That's all we got for you this week, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Get out of here. Yeah, what Rick said. Get out of here. So, We'll talk to you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.